Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. It went very badly from a curious look behind an old wall to something much worse. There were some dark secrets in his basement, and he called an expert after making some shocking findings. With the help of a scholar, he quickly figured out that this wasn't just a place to store some strange items. Jake Brown, like most people who were sick with the coronavirus, had nothing much to do but hang out at home. The handy British man didn't want to waste his time, so he started making some changes to the Plymouth house he had just bought. But Jake quickly learned that this was not going to be an easy weekend fix-up. Jake was looking at the basement of the old house. It had always been his dream to turn the room into his own man cave, and now seemed like the perfect time to start. Jake saw that one of the walls had a slightly different texture from the rest of the house while he was taking some measures. Before, Jake was afraid to touch the wall without a professional checking its strength, but his interest got the best of him. He said, I got a drill and started drilling pilot viewing holes in the wall. It was clear that something was hidden behind that wall. Jake looked inside once he had made a hole big enough for his head. That which he had found shocked him. Jake said, I peered through into the dark, dusty expanse and realized it was a cave of some kind. Because he was stuck inside and bored, his boredom turned into an adventure story all of a sudden. He shined his flashlight into the room and saw something shining in the dark. He had to find a way to get inside because the small hole wasn't going to work. When Jake couldn't find any answers, he hit the wall with a sledgehammer. The sound of rocks breaking and things falling made him nervous about going deeper into the cave by himself. He quickly came back to the top. His wife begged him not to do it. But why would an engineer come out when the school is locked down? What if he had found a hidden gold chest? Jake could no longer sit on the couch. He hit the wall with another big swing and felt bad right away. The cavern was well built, with a strong arch that kept the space from collapsing. However, Jake's quest to find the secret space ended in failure. He thought they were gold coins that would pay off his debt, but they were just empty paint cans and bottles. He was about to give up and fix the hole when he saw the old gears and cogs on the wall. A worn-out bike. Why would someone block off a place that has a bike in it that is valuable? Jake scratched his head and looked at the bike. But then he found something that told him a lot more about how the cave got its name. What was written in the old newspaper made him run to the bathroom right away. By giving the old pages a bath in the tub and taking pictures as healing methods, Jake got one step closer to figuring out how long the cave had been hidden. The agent who worked from home was so scared that he decided it was time to call in the pros. He finally spoke to local historian Richard Fisher on the phone and told him about the newspaper from 1964. That's when he learned how deep this mystery went. Fisher says that the whole area used to be a big hill called Windridge Hill. It was turned into a quarry and homes were built on top of it. He told Jake that a lot of people in the area had changed the cave's uses, like growing mushrooms in the 1960s. Then, Jake brought up the bottles by accident. Fisher thought that Jake's tunnel might be much deeper than the others he had seen because the signs quickly confirmed that it was built in the early 1900s. Jake's cave was probably used to bring coal down to the basement, which means it probably went all the way to the street. The newspaper said that the tunnel was sealed off in the 1960s, but the opening would have been used long before that. I figured it out. What good was a secret tunnel for a man who couldn't leave the house because of lockdown? Jake then had an idea. Even though there wasn't much valuable loot to be found, Jake found the whole trip interesting and couldn't wait to keep working on his renovation plans. He didn't even ask for approval to add a secret path to his man cave. You might be envious of your friend's basement if it had something like that. That's it for today friends. Please let us know what you think about this story, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.